And now for Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week. Okay, today's tip is about my homemade lynx lure. Um, I get a lot of questions about it and it's really simple. Honest to God, people, there's nothing more complicated than this. Well, I guess you have to start with the lynx is about it. Here you go. There's the beginning. If you take a look in there, that's the innards, the total innards, complete innards out of about four or five links. Okay? I put them in there about this time of the year when I'm catching links. Whew! I put a lid on them. And then I, I leave it out in the sunshine all summer long. Whenever that lid blows off, it's time to give it a stir. Pretty simple. That's the hard part. This time of the year, I get it out, give it another stir, and as you can see, once again, nothing secretive there. Then I add bacon grease to it. Of course, we all love bacon, don't we, folks? So don't tell Sandy I got one of her spatulas out here. Just save your bacon grease and take it, add it in there. Give it a stir, and it's that simple. You're ready for kitties. I take and uh, ride it up on top of the hood of the Argo here just because that there's a little bit of warmth coming there and it keeps it thawed and it helps it uh, helps keep it nice and, and juicy. You can also add a little bit of a little bit of uh, uh, glycol. But there you go. Just stir it in and of course every time you, you take an add uh, some to a stick, you know, you're, you do more stirring. That's all there is to it. When it's at this point, it actually doesn't smell too bad. It's got kind of a nice hint of mapley undertone. <laughs> it's that simple. My homemade Lynxler. That was Halford's Trapper's Tip of the Week.